There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they for what? What is y'all doing this for? Fellas, would you wife a woman that twerked online? And not just twerked, I mean barely any clothes on, buns out, motion from all angles for the whole world to see. Friends, family, co-workers, kids, everybody. Before we get into it, I'm Jew. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to sub. Now, let's go. Y'all call it the Meg the Stallion Challenge, but to be honest, I think it's just yet another way for women to devalue themselves. And ladies, I'm not going to hold y'all. At this point, it's given tacky and it's given classless. I think I speak for pretty much everybody when I say we're tired of seeing it. It's played out. There is no reason why we should log on to social media and at the top part where it says stories, there's nothing but a bunch of naked women, half naked women, thongs, panties, short shorts, twerking and showing they for what? What is y'all doing this for? Likes? Attention? Validation? I usually have that question with normal, regular women. I'm not talking about celebrities that get paid for monetizing the attention they get. Are twerking and barely have any clothes on on social media. Like, what are they doing it for? They're not getting paid to do it. I assume they have family members or kids on these apps that are seeing them do this. And I would also guess that they have regular nine to five jobs. So unless they're keeping their social media presence completely separate from their real life, it's kind of hard to see how these women would be benefiting from twerking, doing the ceiling challenge or the Meg the Stallion challenge challenge online other than looking for attention from men and men in general of course are going to give them attention attention doesn't cost a dime and there might be men that do slide in their dms that want to take them out but the thing that i think a lot of women get confused is the type of attention they're getting from the type of man like the men hitting them up are looking for a good time not a long time which is the problem in general with dating right we have all these guys that are willing to spend money and trick off on women and the normal guys that aren't that really would be the ones that wife a woman up are passed over because they're not the guys throwing money at them. They're not the ones sending a hundred dollars to a woman for lunch. So the question, what are these women doing it for? We can only assume it's for attention from a certain type of man, which again, isn't the man that's going to be in a relationship with them or wife them up. If I'm not mistaken, y'all just did this a few months ago. Y'all had a whole challenge where y'all called it the ceiling challenge, where y'all was taping y'all phones to the ceiling and y'all was twerking upside down. We done seen y'all from every single angle possible. We get it. Then y'all say, oh, it's just the internet. It's not a real place. This is a real place. Y'all don't care how y'all perceive yourselves. Y'all don't care that y'all, what y'all look like. You know what this looks like? It looks classless and it looks tacky as hell. I never understood that mindset that people think you can do whatever you want on the internet because the internet isn't a real place. Especially nowadays with how small social media made the world. Somebody is always going to know you or recognize what you're doing or it'll always come back to hunt you like digital footprint is a real thing these days. And I know a lot of places I work, people will go Google your full name, your nicknames and see what social media pages come up, go through all of those, go through Google images just to get a real picture of who you are as a person. And you can imagine having an employee that's famous for twerking online probably isn't the best representation of a company. So I really don't see how twerking benefits any women looking to do anything really productive in society. Some of these, most of y'all are moms. Y'all don't care what y'all kids think. Y'all don't care what y'all kids might look like. Y'all don't care about y'all image to them. Y'all talking about a challenge. Challenge yourself to be a better mom. Challenge yourself to be a better woman. Challenge yourself to be a better sister, a better auntie. Go challenge yourself to read a book. Challenge yourself in ways that's healthy for you. Y'all want to keep getting up here, selling yourself short for likes and attention for what? I'm not saying you got to be a nun, baby. I show skin. I'm not a nun. I still have fun with my girls. I still be outside. I do all that. But it's never been about what you do. It's how you do it. Man used to have to go to a strip club to see stuff like this. To fantasize about stuff like this, to desire women to move in certain ways like this, but now all they gotta do, the whole world is a stage at this point. All they gotta do is log on to social media and it's a million girls shaking, doing all type of stuff, trying to outdo each other. Cause who y'all doing it for? I don't know any man that would wanna see his woman online showing her whole like this for me i want what i have in a woman to be unreachable like yeah i want you to be able to throw that thing but i want you to do it for me and our bedroom not for the rest of the world i guess the type of men that would wipe these women up are the same type of men that would date strippers or of models and i don't think that ends well for any of them oh we ain't doing this for the man who you doing it for then y'all gotta stop and think man 
Because it's not giving what y'all think is giving. It's giving very low quality. No man of high quality, the man that y'all desire, the man that y'all swear y'all want, I promise you, he gonna treat you nothing like what you wanna be treated like because no man wants to see that woman up there or a woman up there that he looking at to pursue in a serious way, shaking 24 seven on the internet like that. Exactly. And I think a lot of these women are being fooled by the social media influencers that do get rappers and athletes because they see them online. But for most women, those 1% men are not checking for you. And if that's the case, then you're running off the regular good men or the high value men that you want because they don't want to be associated with you. Y'all want to be quick to say we're not doing it for the men, but baby, one day you're going to want a man and he's not going to want you. Because in 2024, you up there shaking your for likes and attention. It's not that deep, man. I don't know if y'all lacking in some type of self-esteem or what, man. But y'all gonna have to pull back and reevaluate some stuff. It's not cute no more, y'all. It's played out. Stop. Please stop. I love looking at ass just as much as the next man. But I would be lying to say if I'm not desensitized to seeing women's is on my timeline. It's to the point I can't open Instagram or Twitter in certain places without being worried about that popping up on my screen. And even if you look up the Meg Thee Stallion challenge on Instagram or Twitter, you're going to see a bunch of comments under those videos. It's definitely going to be some men praising the cakes, but a lot of the comments I saw the Meg Thee Stallion joke, which I think is how most men feel. No self-respecting man wants his woman showing everything she got to the rest of the world. Because what signal is that sending? To men, that means you're open for business. And I don't know what these women that have kids are thinking, especially not when these kids are of age most times to have phones and have their own social media pages like do you really want your kid to see you like that and it's a whole other thing for women that do this in front of their kids just to reiterate like most men i love a woman's body i might watch the video but i'm not gonna wife you i'm not gonna be in your dms i'm not gonna be blowing up your head in the comments none of that you might get 30 seconds of my time and then I'm going back to my day. But again, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Would you wife a woman that was twerking online? And why do y'all think women are twerking on social media? Also, if you want to become a channel member, click the join button below. Make sure you check out the next video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.